Skydiving in Dubai is spectacular. It's unlike any other place I've skydived. Once I'm in the sky, it's just like I'm like anyone else. My name is Jarrett Martin. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I'm a skydiver. My family's history is all skydiving. My grandfather was a skydiver, which led to my father being a skydiver, and then my sister has made a skydive, and my aunts and uncles are all skydivers. Of course, naturally, myself. Skydiving runs in the family. Well, I've been skydiving for over 10 years now. I did my first skydive with my father at age nine, and then I started on my solo career at uh, age 15. I've been loving skydiving ever since. I've been disabled for eight years. I was in a weird parachuting accident when I was 18 years old, and it was a tragic accident, but I think in the end it really made me stronger and maybe even a better person, who knows? When I was injured, what really saved me was the family-like attributes that skydiving has with each other, and there was no time for me to be depressed. There's no time for me to be sad. My friends and family really made it an easy transition to what would be the next chapter of my life. I first moved to Dubai in 2013. I developed some interest from Skydive Dubai, and I got the opportunity to come out here full-time. It's quite a production for me to skydive. I mean, the skydive itself of falling out of an airplane, that's easy. But it's all of the things that lead up to getting in the airplane and, you know, getting back in my wheelchair. I couldn't do it without my friends, and they're, they're absolutely incredible. The views from the height that we jump from, you can see everything. It's one of those things, you just have to try it. Uh, it's, it's indescribable. adaptations of equipment that I've had to use for me to be able to skydive and one of them is my leg retention device. It keeps my legs separated yet it keeps them from flapping wildly out of control. The landing is one of the most asked questions that I get. I can't stand up my landings like uh, most able-bodied skydivers because I just kind of do a glorified tuck and roll essentially. It's as graceful of a landing as you can, uh, as you can get. I have probably about close to 5,000 jumps total and the freedom of being able to repeat skydive after skydive while I've been in Dubai really racked up the jump numbers quite fast. When I'm in the zone and I'm like really like doing my thing, it's nice to know that there's people that I'm helping, whether it be disabled people trying to get them to do whatever they think they can do, because if I can do skydiving, anybody can do anything. And whether it be someone disabled or not, I think it inspires everyone to push themselves to do things that they never thought was possible. If you think about it, like some guy in a wheelchair skydiving, that doesn't seem possible. <laughs>